Hello everyone. So welcome in this session. So in this session we will check how to install the IBM ELM. So before going for the installation, we need to remember some prerequisite. We should be able or ready with some downloadables. So which which we will download from the jazz.net site. So in the last session we have checked how to download the um, installables from the jazz.net site. Okay. So uh, before going for the ELM, we should be ready with the installation manager. So as I told you, installation manager is nothing but one container where uh, with the help of that container, we will uh, install the ELM components like JDS, CCM, QM, and RM. So uh, then uh, uh, after the installation manager, uh, we need to download the component repository. So repository in, in sense, ki it is a combination of all the components uh, setups are so stored in that repository. So it's one zip file we have to download from the jazz.net. Okay, so uh, while setup, uh, just try to avoid the uh, uh, default setup that is installation path which is uh, uh, referred to the C drive. Try to install it on a, uh, other drive whichever you have. Okay, the, like a D drive, F drive, anything. Because uh, if you install the setup in the C drive and by mistake if you want uh, if you want to format the C drive, then all setup will went live. Okay, so try to avoid it and don't give the space. Like when you installed it, uh, whenever you are creating the folder, okay, then uh, avoid the spacing in between. Okay, and uh, try to uh, whenever you are downloading the setup, try to create the folder for the setup where you are downloading setup create a one folder separate folder for that downloadables and uh, whatever you are installing actual installation of the file make a separate folder for it okay so all will be in a segregated way and uh, whatever uh, i'm showing you now this is not for the production uh, environment setup for the production environment setup this uh, steps are somewhat similar but we need to follow some uh, guidelines and uh, from that only we can download it. So whichever I'm showing, it's not for the production uh, uh, steps. Okay. So before going for the production environment setup, we have to follow some guidelines. So I'm giving here some uh, ELM reference link. From there, you can check how to set up our production server setup. And uh, you have to follow some interactive guide. So interactive guide means uh, once you go in this site, okay. Uh, once you uh, visit this site, uh, you can uh, um, you will get the whatever uh, operating system, whichever operating system and uh, uh, server whichever you want to access. You have to do the selection. So, for example, uh, are you setting cluster environment? If I'm selecting no here, I don't want a cluster. So, if you want to cluster, you can select. Always prefer the Linux, uh, the recommended way, not a Windows, because uh, on a server, Linux based operating system, the performance is uh, very good and uh, security is also there. But now, I am just uh, selecting custom setup here. Depending on the requirement, you can go and uh, select the component. Here, I don't want the supporting components for now. So, I am just showing you for the demo purpose how you can generate the interactive guide so always uh, select your database server as a db2 for the production server okay or uh, any oracle or sql don't go for the apache derby apache derby is only for the pre-stage or uh, uh, local environment that you will create as a development environment or something don't use the production uh, derby for the production environment then I'm selecting the application server as a web sphere. So web sphere is the lightweight application server. So it will be a easy if you go with the registry means LDAP connection. So whenever you are importing the user or creating a user, which third party registry application you want to integrate it. So suppose I don't want in uh, this Kerberos and this. So once I click on the get interaction instruction, all will be listed here. So all the commands and steps will be here. So you have to follow the same steps while installing. Okay. So you can generate um, your own guide for the local setup as well by referring that interactive guide. Okay. So these are the steps and these are the checklist you have to check and accordingly you can perform. Okay. 
so this is all about the production guidance and uh, you can say production environment setup so uh, use the compatibility guide as well so for example there are if suppose uh, you are using a linux version then check whichever linux version you are using whether it is supporting the like, current application uh, elm application version okay so that the compatibility is also we, you need to check okay you can uh, find that uh, uh, document on uh, ibm site so now let's look at the installation of the elm i will show you one on a local or a to set up the development environment or your trial environment how we can go proceed by using the jazz.net help okay so first of all if you want to download it there are two ways either you can directly go via uh, jazz.net and uh, you can go via that route or uh, on the google itself you can go and you can type ibm elm download and you can specify the version so current version which i'm uh, which is in a 2023 the stabilized version is 702 so i'm referring it so always go for the stable uh, version okay latest and stable version okay so for now i'm just logging into my jazz.net here you can see on the google itself you are redirecting to jazz.net download okay here you can see all download folder and in the all download you can see this downloadables okay see here lot of options are there don't get confused with this options one is the web installer and here you can see ibm installation repository i will just show uh, tell you the difference in between so as i mentioned you to install uh, all the components that is rtc qm um, then uh, um, dng you need installation manager so for the installation manager the link is here if you want to download it we can download here okay so by clicking on this link okay the current version is 1.9.1.3 okay but before if if uh, you want to download the installation manager uh, you, you need a sufficient bandwidth to download the setup because th uh, though its setup is uh, less but the component uh, file or a repository file that which we are going to download is 2 GB around 2 GB so it's a huge if you don't uh, have that such a download bandwidth so you can have another option that is a web installer so by using the web installer you can go here you can install the web installer and from the installer web installer you can uh, install the other application like uh, ccm qm and rm so that web installer directly can call to uh, jazz.net site and from there it will directly communicate and it will download it so you don't have to download this repo as an external offline way it's a gz file okay so web, web installer will handle that installation for you okay so this is the difference between the web and ibm installation manager like in the web installer you don't need to download the set of files of 2gb it will directly communicate with the jazz.net and it will directly uh, uh, install uh, the components on a installation manager okay but in, in this installation manager specifically you need uh, this uh, download download of the repository that is around 2g so we'll prefer this installation manager repository so first uh, as i clicked on 1.9.1 installation ma manager i will go here you can see the latest release are there whichever latest is there it is highlighted in a green okay so click on it here you can see multiple operating system support uh, files are there so currently i will go for the windows only okay so i'm downloading it click on agree and click on download so that download will be started okay so same you have to follow for uh, this file this is 2gb file click on it then uh, click on agree button okay and once you click on click on download i already have this setup so i'm not downloading for now but you have to click on this and the file name is jts ccm rm qm jrs these are the components which uh, are having this collective setup here and uh, here you can see these are the trial that we are using so for the local development environment setup we are using it 
so for the production environment uh, you do have your password passport advantages credentials so from there you can download the respective versions okay so uh, these two are important things that you have to download first so here in this you can see agent installer i will show you where i have created one set of ibm elm setup file so this is the repository okay jts repository where uh, jts ccm component setup is there and this is the installation manager setup so to install the installation manager let's see the steps okay now okay so in this uh, you just have to extract the zip file click on this folder zip file extract all this folder will get extracted fine so now once you enter into it click on install option that uh, as i'm selecting as a windows so i'm clicking on the exe file so if you are using the linux there is a linux supported files are there installables are there so now click on installable this installation manager will window will appear so click on next click on accept click on next here as i told you i'm not referring the c drive that, that's not a problem that you can uh, use the default but for the segregation purpose and for the easy purpose i always re prefer uh, that other drive other than c drive so i'm just uh, clear team elm then i'm preferring as a 702 version so i'm just created this so make sure that space should not be there in between this so i'm just putting that so that in the ibm folder installation manager folder this installation manager will get installed click on install that installation will get started after installation this uh, screen will appear okay so after installation manager this will appear so you can click on restart installation manager so this once the installation finish that installation manager welcome page will be like this okay so next step is you have to click on the file option file option and click on the preferences after click on the preferences uh, whatever the repository uh, file or a zip file you have uh, downloaded you have to add this repository file okay so now uh, in this repository file i have i have kept here so this is repository that is jts ccm qm i have to open it click on okay okay 